I just pulled all of my stakes again. I'm comfortable. Uh, they all measured out. The diagonal on both ways was 23 and a third feet like we talked about before. I'm gonna go ahead and start digging. Um, my six by six posts are gonna be here. This is like the far corner. So I'm actually gonna pull those up. My tamper is eight by eight. I think I'm gonna uh, spray around the tamper. Like I'll pull that stake up, do something like this, spray around the tamper, and then dig down. Uh, my frost line is, I want to say it's like 16 inches. It's between 12 and 16, 14 and 18. I feel comfortable with 16. Um, but I want some up, updraft protection, so I'll probably dig, let's see, the, my 4, 42 inches, 6 inches need to be above the ground, 3 feet 36, 6, 6, 42. Why don't we dig 3 feet? And so I'm going to measure 3 feet on the shovel. And I'm going to mark it with the Sharpie just so I have a quick reference. It doesn't have to be perfect. So let's dig three feet, um, tamp it with the tamper, and then it's going to get some gravel and a couple inches of cement. Maybe not today. Um, but yeah, let's, let's, let's see how we feel with, I say three inches. <laughs> I meant three feet. I don't know what I said, but let's... Uh, Go ahead and mark our shovel real quick. And this is not precise and it doesn't have to be. Um, but let's say three feet. Hey! Three feet's deep. I don't know if we're going three feet. How about we go, uh, <laughs> how about we go two and a half and then we'll see how I feel from there. I might have to get a post hole digger. I'm going to mark two feet right here and then I'm going to mark two and a half feet right there and then just so I have some kind of reference of how deep we're going. And I think as long as we get somewhere in between that and then tamp it, we should be good. Let me check that again. Because I can tell you right now that I am going to not. Yeah, it's two feet, two and a half. Okay. Let's go ahead and try this uh, spray paint idea real quick. Pull up my steak we have here. Wow. Put, the guy, put that guy in there good. good steak. I'm gonna put the tamper kind of just on the other side of that hole to give us some leeway in there. Actually, I'm gonna put it right on the hole because the... Okay, just on the other side. That's fine. So that'll give us some room to move around in there. Man, it's pretty out here today. It has been beautiful out. It's just a rough mark. I don't even know if you guys can see this on camera. And then we'll dig there.
All right, let me get set up and All right, yeah, I think uh, two and a half feet is going to be enough. Whew. All right, let me get my gloves off real quick. I'll show you what we got here so far. Because I'm not going to make you watch me do all of these. <clears throat> but I haven't measured it, but I when I... I think I was somewhere between my two foot and my two and a half foot line. Um, you see I was able to keep it relatively straight going down. I actually even belled it out a little bit at, a bo at the bottom. Uh, meaning the, the bottom is wider than the top. Uh, this is eight by eight, like I told you. Um, the actual... Uh, six by six lumber is uh, actually like five and a half by five and a half uh, so it'll it'll definitely fit in here and see I got the ground nice and flat and compact now um, I think the plan is either to put some gravel put a layer of gravel down there and then concrete or a layer of concrete and then gravel and I think I am going to end up uh, cementing these posts in after uh, I get my subfloor on and I know they're um, uh, plumb and the right the right distances so I don't want to I don't want to cement the post in before I actually have my subfloor built. So my plan is to either do gravel and then uh, concrete or concrete then gravel. I'm going to watch a couple more YouTube videos to see the pros and cons of that. And then after that sets, I will put my post on there. do my other four corners frame out my subfloor oh, like set my post in there I already said that frame out my subfloor then go back and ensure everything's level and square then cement my posts in 
that's the plan. You guys let me know what you think. Um, my plans always seem to change as I go. I like to uh, stay agile. If something's not working, uh, I'll adapt and keep going. All right, so we're done for the day. Like, share, subscribe, do all the stuff you do. Questions and comments below. And we'll see you on the ridge. Thank you.